Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you the newest, one of the newest sets from the Catherine Pooler release, and this is the Birthday Icon set. It's got a lot of really cute images that are just great for birthday cards. And she also has new pattern paper as well. And I'll be focusing on this piece of pattern paper today. I absolutely love it. I told her I need a dress with this pattern on it. And I'm going to be recreating this, these images or this image onto my card today. So I'm taking that stacked birthday cake image and I am stamping it in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. This is a Copic safe ink, meaning that the alcohol in the Copic markers will not make the ink run. I'm just doing some really simple coloring. I will put the colors or the shades that I've used for Copic markers in the description if you're interested in that. I've colored it very much like the cake on the pattern paper and I wanted it to be really cohesive. I wanted them to sort of look like each other, like I almost took the cake off of the pattern paper. Now I'd also like some candles on this cake and there aren't any small enough candles that are sort of solo in the set. So I'm going to be using this tiny little candle on top of the cupcake that is in the set. And I'm just going to be inking up the candle only, not the cupcake. And I'll be fussy cutting that out a little bit later. So if you end up getting a little bit of the cupcake inked up and stamped, don't worry about it. I will color those in. I'm using a teal color because I like the teal color in the cake. And then I use a yellow color for the flame. This set also has coordinating dies, which is fantastic. So it will go ahead and cut out that three tier cake. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. And then as I said before, I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut out those candles. And because they're really small, I'm just using a tiny little tray here to keep track of them. I have pre-stamped some polka dots onto a piece of three and a half by five piece of 110 pound cardstock. And I'm just sort of setting it up here to see where I'd like it. I'm going to glue the candles right to the top of the cake. And I've done three candles and this was on purpose. I have a, there's a really cute sentiment included in the stamp set that I'd like to use for the card. So first I glue the one in the middle and then that will ensure that I have enough room to glue the one to the right and to the left and that is the full cake. I am going to be using this sentiment here, one candle equals 10 candles, and it's got that cute little asterisk, and so it it's a little snarky, but not too bad, so it can be used pretty much across the board for anybody. And I'm going to prep a piece of black cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. I'm going to stamp my sentiment in Versamark ink, and I'm going to use some white embossing powder, super fine embossing powder, to emboss that sentiment. After I heat set it, I will trim the sentiment so that it's just a nice and thin black strip, and then I'm going to put my card together. I'm using foam tape to adhere both the cake and the sentiment to the card. And I just make sure that I don't press down firmly on either of them until I know that it's where I want it. Foam tape is somewhat forgiving in that you can move it around a little bit, but once you really put pressure on it, it's really tough and almost impossible in my experience to get it off of the card front without pulling up some paper. And because my sentiment strip is a bit thinner than the width of my foam tape, I just cut a piece of foam tape and then cut it down the center. And that allows me to have a nice thin strip for the back of my sentiment. So now to actually assemble the card, I've got my card front, a teal piece of cardstock for my matted card background or my matted background for my card front, and then an A2 size card base. So my card front is three and a half by four and three quarters. My matted card background, which is this teal piece is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then of course the A2 sized card is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to glue the card front onto the matted background, and then I'll be using foam tape on the back of that to adhere it to my card base. 
So here you can see the card and the pattern paper together. I really love that they coordinate because I used the pattern paper to line the inside of an A2 sized envelope. And I just love that it coordinates and looks like a set. This video is part of the new release video hop, and there is a chance to win $25 to the Catherine Pooler shop. All of the information is in the description along with the link to the next video. Be sure to comment for your chance to win. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.